Hi y'all, um, I'm Mary Spotswood Underwood with Garden and Gun, showing you how to draw citrus to use for your holiday decor, and also it makes a great cocktail garnish. I use a standard baking sheet with a rim and a cooling rack, any size will do. And then I add a level of parchment paper. I'm using a ice pick to poke holes to let the air come through, helping to draw the oranges on both sides equally. Once I get that covered completely, um, we're gonna add our orange slices. The trick is to always slice your slices the same thickness so that they will dry at the same speed. We take our slices and we put them directly onto that parchment paper. If one slice isn't totally perfectly straight, it's okay. It just might be a little bit gummier than your other thin slices. Then we're gonna take this to the oven on your lowest setting. And if you cut your slices nice and thin, it should take about 10 to 12 hours. So it's been about 12 hours, and this batch is looking really good. What we've got here is a nice translucent fruit. The edge is nice and firm and, and dry, but there's no brown. So now that you've got your dried citrus, I'm gonna show you how I wire them together for floral decor. I'm gonna do a selection of my varied sizes. Sometimes I do them in threes, twos, even a single. I take a thin piece of floral wire at least a foot long, go right at the top of my dried citrus all the way through, pull it all the way even. You're gonna pinch and twist, and once in place, you can adjust to exactly where you want it. One thing I love to do at the holidays is repeat my elements, often in slightly different forms. I love to do a bowl of pomanders or even taking a old-fashioned Williamsburg apple cone and turning it into a pomander cone. I start with an orange, or in this case, a very large tangerine. You want to take your tip, Hold it and start the wrapping process. I'm gonna trim my ribbon. All I've done is pinch and hold it where I'm gonna secure it. I like to roll my ribbon over for a finished edge. Take a corsage pin to secure the ribbon in place. With an apple cone, you start with your largest elements first. Now, we're gonna make a bunch of these. So when designing my citrus cone is I've added a large element at the top, large elements at the bottom, in keeping with the shape of the actual cone. We filled it with the pomanders, plain tangerines as well, boxwood, I've added pepperberry, and a little bit of popcorn berry. What makes this cone extra special are our dried citrus slices. And what I've done is I've just tucked them in to the structure of the boxwood and it holds it there in place. I think it gives it a really nice sparkle um, and an extra added detail. 